Well, hello gamers, my name is John with Gangster81.com, and in this episode, I'm going to be reviewing the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play mobile phone. This is Sony's first mobile phone that is, quote, PlayStation certified. It can play PlayStation games, downloadable games, even emulators. I'll show you how that works here later in the video. It's got a built-in controller, which is really cool. It's got a lot of nice features, but there are some things about this phone that are some cons as well, so I'll go over that in the video as well in the review. This isn't the very first mobile phone that's built around video games and kind of catering towards a video gamer. In fact, Nokia. Hold on, someone's calling, guys. This is weird. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hello? Dude, I'm in the middle of re review. Can you call me back? Yeah, no, it's just bad timing. It's okay. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. All right. All right, man. Take care. Bye. Wow, that's, sorry about that, guys. Kind of awkward moment there, but... Uh, Anyway, without any further ado, let's take a closer look at the Sony Xperia Play. Here's a box for the Xperia Play I got through Verizon. It came out April 1st, 2011. On Verizon, it came out May 26th and on Verizon 2011. And it was eventually released on AT&T as well, September 18th of the same year, 2011. Um, and it comes with an AC adapter, uh, all that good stuff. It's also uh, Major League Gaming certified. It's got Snapdragon, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth certified all the cool stuff so you can talk uh, wirelessly, you don't need a headset. And PlayStation certified, as I mentioned as well, first phone, mobile phone to do that. And uh, Sony's plans, and this has been in development for many, many years, actually in 2005, Sony had announced that they were working on a mobile phone, or they, were, they didn't really announce it officially, but there was rumors that they were gonna release a mobile phone that was gonna be PlayStation certified, and that came true and eventually in 2011 when it was finally released. Here's the phone itself. Um, it is height, it's 4.7 inches tall, or 109 millimeters. Width is 2.4 inches, or 62 millimeters. And depth is 0.63 inches, or 16 millimeters. It is a pretty heavy phone compared to other phones I've owned in the past. The, the weight of this phone is actually uh, 6.2 ounces, or 175 grams, so it is kind of heavy for a mobile phone. Uh, but that's, it's not too heavy where you really notice it if it's in your pocket. Uh, it's got a nice 4-inch or 100-millimeter screen. It can display 16 uh, million different colors. It's a nice touch screen, very responsive. I think the screen's probably one very, very positive thing about this particular phone. Uh, the battery itself, it actually can store up to 10 hours of use. And uh, char it takes about three and a half hours to charge the battery. It's a lithium rechargeable battery. It comes with an 8-gig eight, uh, eight SD card, although I put a 16-gig SD card in it, and the slot goes right here. Uh, it doesn't, nice thing about this phone, and it's, even though it's a Sony device, it's not a proprietary card, whereas if you look at the Vita, they have a proprietary memory card. You can use any micro SD card. Uh, I think that's a huge plus for that, and I'm glad that Sony didn't use a proprietary memory card. That gets very, very expensive doing that. It does have two cameras. The front camera, or the rear camera here, is a 5.1 megapixel camera. And it does a decent job in low light situations. And the front camera here is actually right here. And that is a 0.3 megapixel camera. So it doesn't nearly do as good of a job. In fact, it kind of gets a little choppy and, and it's not that great of a quality camera up front here. Let's see, we also have, uh, this is where your headphones would plug into. The charger can also plug in here as well. Uh, this is how you charge that. Um, here is left right bumpers here. This is your trigger bumpers just like you would have on a, a, a normal PlayStation 2 controller. Here's your volume up and down. Here is your back button, your home button, your uh, this is your option button, and this is your information or search button right here on the right. So this, these are kind of laid out differently than a lot of smartphones in the past. My, my smartphones I've had have been laid out a little bit differently. It takes a little getting used to changing that around, but you get used to it. Here's the cool part. It slides open, and here is your controller. So this is your select, your start, this is your home button right here. These are laid out just like a PlayStation 2 controller would be or a lot of the PlayStation 1 controllers. Here's your directional pad. This is really cool. It, this is your analog six right here. So you can control the old touch screen. It's kind of like a PSP Go, but the PSP Go doesn't have this right here. And actually feels the buttons do feel fairly responsive. And of course you have the touch screen here. Notice when I slide it open, it goes to the place, this is the Xperia Play menu. They don't up, update the games nearly enough. Sony had promised that they're gonna come out with a God of War game for it, a Little Big Planet game as well, and unfortunately those haven't seen the light of day yet, so who knows if those are still in, in the talks, but I've noticed that they don't really update the games very often at all. 
you can just download here. You can also go to uh, Android Play Market and you can download games. There's a bunch of free ones you can download. I'll show you some examples from games later on in the video. As far as specifications for this particular phone, the CPU is a 1 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon S2 MS M8255. Uh, the GPU is an Andreno 205. Memory is, internal memory is 512 megabytes. Storage is 400 megabytes. And you can, you can put up to a 32 uh, gig SD card, ex expandable SD card in there as well. Here is the main screen. We got a whole bunch of apps here. I'm gonna highlight some apps I like. Let me know what you guys' apps like. If you, you're a big fan of apps, recommend some apps to me. Put a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. It comes with the, the Amazon Kindle app. Um, I also have, This is your app store right here. Also come installed Bruce Lee Dragon, which is a fighting game. A calculator, a calendar. This is your camera. And you can see this is the rear camera. I can change, I can do, has a flash as well. I can record, change it to record to, to video. If I sign down on that, I can do, uh, this shows my previous, it can, these are my previous pictures I've took. Go back here. Got auto lens, you can do a whole bunch of different, into auto, micro, let's do exposure. Store location, uh, auto, instant light. You can change a different uh, quality of the picture, cloudy, depending on what situation you're in. Daylight. You can also do auto. I just leave it on auto. Flash mode, auto, on or off. I Again, I just leave it on auto. And if you want to take there's a picture, you just click on the bottom right here. It takes a picture. This bottom right here is actually where you can click, you can change the cameras here, or you can do the front or back. Let's do front camera. And there I am, there's my camera. And again, it's, let's go back here to the back or rear camera. Exit this. Got contacts, you got a clock. It comes with Crash Bandicoot also pre installed. I have a whole bunch of games I've downloaded, like uh, Dead Space. It actually plays pretty well. Facebook app is one of my favorites. Foursquare can check in places. Gallery can go see previous photos. I've got some emulators on here. Grand Theft Auto 3. I can't get Grand Theft Auto 3 to work on this, unfortunately. I've re-downloaded it and it just doesn't work. I've got an NES uh, emulator on there, a Game Boy emulator. Madden comes pre-installed. So it comes with a handful of games. NBA Jam I downloaded. Pandora is always great. Here's a Play Store, which you can go download more apps. Skype, of course. This is my Super Nintendo emulator. Uh, Tetris, there's there's Twitter, and YouTube. YouTube app, YouTube mobile, in my opinion, is not very good. I wish YouTube would would uh, change that. Here's Xperia Play. Again, click on that. It goes back to the menu here. Go to more games. I'll show you some games that are, are available for it currently. Galgo Special, Real Soccer, Brother in Arms 2, Monopoly, SimCity game, Pac-Man Kart, Splinter Cell, Pac-Man Championship Edition, which is a great game. I need to download that. Spider-Man Dead Space. This is a backbreaker, like a football game. Avatar. There's a handful of different games for it. And it's supposedly supposed to be updating more as it comes by, but haven't seen anything recently for it. Here's let's go to the options menu here, settings. I'll show you different settings here. Wireless, settings, call, sound, display. Settings, you can do display how bright you want it. It goes pretty bright and pretty dim, as you will see there. You can screen saver timeout. After you can do storage, look at your storage. You can delete some application, handle that. You can dock time, all that good stuff. Here's the even though there are a lot of cool things about this phone that I've showed you, it does have its faults. For example, this is my fourth replacement for this phone. Initially, when I when I got it, it lasts about three months. I've owned the, this phone roughly about seven months. The first three months were fine. The battery life lasted great. All of a sudden, when I try to turn it off and boot it up again, it stopped working, wouldn't boot up. So I get a replacement phone. So my recommendation is, if you do decide to get this, a lot of companies like Verizon, AT&T, they'll have a, a replacement policy where you can pay a little bit extra, like an insurance program, and they'll send you what they call a pre-owned certified phone. So it's basically a refurbished phone, and they don't send you a new one. I got had a replacement phone, refurbished. It sounds like a used car, you know, pre-owned, certified, whatever. But they got that, lasted two months. 
all of a sudden it stopped detecting my S micro SD card. And because of that, it kept shutting off, it kept freezing. I couldn't take pictures, I couldn't download apps. It was an issue, they didn't know why. I sent it again for a third replacement. Same issue with that phone, believe it or not. Didn't recognize my SD card. When they sent, when Verizon sends you back the phone, they give you the phone and they, they basically, you keep on, you hold on to the back and you hold on to the battery. There's a thing right here, this is kind of a design flaw of this phone. This white little trigger right here as a de detection. So if that's not covered up, there's actually a, a nick here that's covering it. If that's not pushed in, it's not gonna read the SD card. I think they do that for some reason, I don't know why, but it wasn't detecting, so it could have been my back. So uh, we tried a new back, that didn't fix the problem. I tried a new battery, that didn't fix it either, so they sent me a fourth replacement phone, and that's what this is, and it's, I'm not having issues, knock on wood, that uh, so far this is working fine. So that is an issue for this, this phone, it is a design flaw, so be aware of that, that sometimes, and if the SD card doesn't uh, get detected, it's gonna drain your battery. My battery was dry, dying by two o'clock in the afternoon, it was super frustrating, but now I have the same battery as before, and I'm not having any issues, it's five o'clock in the day, and my battery's three, more than three-fourths full, so. Uh, that that is a, a good thing. So hopefully it will, will stay good. But let's check out some games here real quick. I'll show you some games and some apps that I like particularly. When you slide open, it automatically goes to the Xperia Play. You can I think you can change it in the settings. Change that. Uh, let's show you Crash Bandicoot. I was hoping they'd have more PlayStation games available for the Xperia Play, but I couldn't find any other PlayStation games. They do have PlayStation emulators available through Android Market, and I tried that. I couldn't get any of those to work for it. But it'd be really cool to see more PlayStation 1 games available for the Xperia Play. This is classic game. This is uh, one of my favorite games for the PlayStation 1 back in the day. One of the first games I played for the system. So you, in this game, you actually use a directional pad. That's kind of cool. Let's go back to the main screen here and quit. Otherwise, we'll leave the application open. I like the task killer because it kills all the, a lot of programs running on the phone that a lot of people don't realize. Look at all those background programs running. And you just kill those right away. That's a really helpful app. Um, also, Bruce Lee Dragon Fighter. Let's check out Dead Space. I'm really surprised on how well it runs on a mobile phone. EA did a really good job of pouring this over. And surprisingly, uh, this doesn't drain the battery as much as you'd think. Pretty cool to say you have dead space on your phone, right? <laughs> Environment check, stable in public sector one. All right, crew release here. Let's go home, guys. Just another beautiful day on the sprawl. The controls get a lot getting used to because you have to use the analog sticks here. To control it. So you look left, right here. Go back. Anyway, real cool, cool game, really fun. Uh, let's check out some other games here. This is the Super Nintendo one. Actually, it's got really cool because it shows you the box art. I'm going to buy a handful of games in here. But I got, you know, Earthbound, Star Fox. This is a cool classic one. And it plays really well on using this because it plays just like the Super Nintendo controller. You have to map the buttons in order to play this, but just go to settings, you can change that. Always like Toad.
So that's classic, of course. Some other Game Emulator games I have are the Nintendo. For some reason, it still has, this is where it plays mostly if you use these touch buttons, but you can't get rid of it on this. Let's go to Advance, Load Game, SD Card. I got a file here, NES Games. ROMs. But it runs it really fast. So there's a glitch in this particular emulator. So obviously the emulators don't run perfect. That runs really, really fast. I'll show you the Genesis one real quick. This one actually runs pretty well. This is Turtles. Upperson Heist. It, you have to map the buttons kind of weird because if a six button Genesis controller, you have to use the back buttons too in order to do it. So it works pretty well. Let's go to exit more, exit out of this. Some other games, another game I want to show you is NBA Jam, of course. It's already have a match in progress, so I was playing before. This uses the analog here. So resume those, the Suns. <laughs> Pretty fun game. I love NBA Jam. Gotta love the classic NBA Jams, right? Well, that wraps up my review over the Sony Ericsson Play, this mobile phone. In conclusion, some of the things I really like about the phone, I like the, the controller layout. If you're, you like the PlayStation controller layout, I think you'll really like this. Uh, some of the games I do have for it, I like the feature that you can actually play emulators really easily on this thing. Some of the cons, though, of course, are the dependability. This, considering this is my fourth one that I've owned in a short amount of time, uh, that raises some questions about just the longevity of this mobile phone. Another thing that I don't like about it is the support that Sony's giving it. It seems to be kind of on the back burner for Sony. Sony's promised some whole bunch of games that are going to be exclusive to the Xperia and the, the lineup for mobile phones that just haven't come out yet. So that's kind of a wait and see thing. Is it going to happen? We'll wait and see. Overall, uh, I'd say if you're in the market for a new phone and you're a hardcore gamer and you like playing games on the go, this is probably a cool little device for you. Otherwise, if you have a phone you're happy with, definitely stick with that. The, you know, if you already get this phone, definitely get the warranty program. That, you know, it's a little bit extra to do that, but it's definitely worth it because you don't want to be stuck with this phone and then dying on you and you being stuck without a phone. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you soon, and now I have a call after return. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Take care.